going on guys? My name is Kaylin. I don't know about you, but high school was one of the most confusing times of my life. I remember thinking it would have been awesome if I had someone a little bit older than me give me some advice and also some encouragement. I randomly walked into a coffee shop and I asked a group of college students who were studying if they could share their experiences in high school. Over the next four weeks, I'll be sharing with you four short interviews of just that. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. I just, I don't know, I was like, I feel like I was not my best person when I was what, in South Why were you? I was in a relationship with this guy who was like older and um, he didn't really respect me. It wasn't necessary, the whole thing was just, you know. And then junior year, uh, I definitely became better because I actually became close with Yura, which is one of my best friends. She put me into like, she made me, I guess, sort of part of who I am today, like maybe open myself up more, be happier about things, get to talk to more people. She was a really good influence in my life and that's why I changed junior year. Very, I feel like it's very important who you surround yourself with, especially nowadays because I feel like there's so many distinct personalities, distinct people. You don't know where people are going to go in life and at the end of the day, I feel like everybody should accept who everyone is or what they want to do, but who you surround yourself with ultimately becomes who you are. So, yeah. One of the biggest things I'd probably tell myself is like, you're smarter than that. Like, I made a lot of mistakes, and my common sense has been diluted a little bit <laughs> when I was younger. But focus on yourself, because I feel like a lot of the times, um, like I care too much about what people think about me, which really isn't important because at the end of the day, you have you yourself and I, and like. I feel like that's really something I would advise myself when I was younger. I did everything to make everyone else happy, but then I forgot about myself in the long run. I would say definitely focus on yourself more. High school, like when I look back to it, like sure, this material is so much easier than college, but at the end of the day, it sucked when it came to some getting to know yourself and stuff. Care about those that you know care about you. Don't give all the attention to people who are not permanent. They should really focus on like who really cares about them. They'll know eventually. You can just tell by their character, like how they treat you, how they treat you around other people, the advice that they give you if they want you to become a better person or not. They want you to grow. If a person wants you to grow and is like constantly like always there for you, giving you advice and wanting you to become a better person, I feel like that's the qualities of someone that truly cares about you. Definitely. Yeah. When I was in high school, like I started making posters for my newspaper class. Like my teacher was like, oh, you're really good at this. You should really consider taking a graphic design class. And I was like, all right, that's cool. The first thing I did when I got into college was take a graphic design class. But um, I feel like maybe something more in the science field. I was thinking psychology from instinct because like one of my um, natural things is that I'm really good at talking to people and giving advice to people when they need it at most, I think, which is why I wanted to do something like therapy or psychology. But at this point, in five years, I hope I'm doing something that benefits me the most. And as a person, I hope I grow. I just want to be kind to everyone. I don't want to judge too much on people. All, we're, we're all humans, we all judge. But at the end of the day, I just want to see the good in everyone. And I just hope that I become a better person overall from it. And I don't take shit from people. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I'd like to be remembered as someone that truly cared about them and always wanted them to do better for themselves. I just hope I'd be remembered as someone good. Yeah. As someone like, They'd be like, oh, Brenda, I miss her so much. I wish it'd be something like that. And be like, she was a good person. That's, that's what I wish I could be remembered as, yeah. The first person is, I really appreciate everything that you do for me, and I'm sorry I don't say it enough. <laughs> At the end of the day, I really do love you. I wish I could tell you more about how much I appreciate all you've done for me my entire life. I wish there wasn't so many uh, differences in like the way you were raised in your culture and the way I was raised in America. I apologize for everything that I've done to hurt you or make you upset. And to the second person, I love you and you're honestly like the best person in the world. And yeah, <laughs> you're the best.